you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to urge the Congress to think twice before thrusting this nation into a war without merit, one fraught with danger of escalating into something no American will be pleased with. Thomas Jefferson advised, quote, never was so much false arithmetic employed on any subject as that which has been employed to persuade nations that it is in their interest to go to war, close quote. We have for months now heard plenty of false arithmetic and lame excuses on why we must pursue a preemptive war of aggression against an impossible nation 6,000 miles from our shores that doesn't even possess a Navy or Air Force with a pretense that it must be done for national security interests. I consider it a shameful thing that the subject even has to be debated. But what the U.S. did was attack a backward, primitive country that had done nothing to it. That used to be a bosom ally of, of, this, of this corrupt government. On my orders, coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage war. These are opening stages of what will be a broad and concerted campaign. Coalition forces will make every effort to spare innocent civilians from harm. People you liberate will witness the honorable and decent spirit of the American military. The people of the United States and their friends and allies will not live at the mercy of an outlaw regime that threatens the peace with weapons of mass murder. We will meet that threat now with our Army, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard and Marines. Our nation enters this conflict reluctantly. We will pass through this time of peril and carry on the work of peace.